Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about what narcissists do when you're not there. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a call with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Narcissists do this when you're not there. You're in a relationship with a narcissist, but they're not really the obsessive type of narcissist. They're not so possessive or controlling. They're not so worried about where you are or what you're doing. And it's because they're entertaining other prospects. They're playing the field. To them, people are for recreational use. For their own amusement or fun, rather than a serious or practical purpose. And narcissists are attracted to other narcissists. So their friends and other supplies will be narcissists as well. They will be just as toxic. And that's typically what they're involved in when you're not there. Because it was just by chance that they got with you. Maybe you were bored or lonely. Maybe you worked at the same job. So it might have been out of convenience. Or maybe you just felt bad for them and you decided to give them another chance. While well, typically narcissists are attracted to other narcissists because they have similar personalities. They have more things in common that they like to do. And while they may make it seem like they're having such a great time without you, it's actually a really toxic situation. They can make it look good initially when they're manipulating and love bombing each other because neither of them have an identity so they're both mirroring each other. They're mimicking each other's feelings, interests and behaviours to create a false sense of connection, which isn't real and it makes for a bad relationship or friendship as they are both unable to feel empathy or offer real love. But they're both comfortable in that because at least then they can understand each other. Whereas you could never understand them. You could never understand their inability to connect and you didn't approve of all of the toxic things they were involved in. Where they may have been lying to you, cheating on you, and stealing from you, but other narcissists won't be bothered about that. And they may even bond together over doing those things to other people. Because that's just what narcissists do. It's fun to them. It gives them a thrill. But they couldn't get away with doing those things with you you didn't approve of it. So when you're not there, they may be running off to their narcissistic friends or maybe their other sources of supply. And they're hiding things and cheating on each other as neither of them can trust together. But despite that, they're still drawn to each other. And you may wonder why you're not hearing from them or why they're never there. And it's often because they may have other sources of supply that are narcissistic and they feel more comfortable around them. They feel like they get on better with them because they're more alike. They're more the same. Their toxic nature draws them to each other and then they may even team up together against you because that's typically what they do. They will leave you for someone much worse and then they will team up with that person to harass you because they both hate you they're both envious and jealous of you so they work together to try to take you down because they're both as toxic as each other which is why you do need to be very careful because when you're not there they will be out there entertaining other sources of supply or they will be out with their friends and all of them may be narcissistic. And the narcissist may be talking to them about you behind your back until they all begin to develop these feelings of hatred and resentment towards you. And then before you know it, you have a gang of narcissists after you. 
just because you got involved with one of them. Which is why narcissists are such dangerous people to be involved with. Because you never know who else they may be dealing with. And then they're going to bring these problems into your life. When all you are looking for is a date or a relationship. But you get involved with a narcissist. And then it spirals all out of control. You lose track of what it was you were looking for. What it was you even wanted. And now you've got a team of narcissists on your back. Which isn't something you ever wanted to be involved in. But this often does happen under the radar and without your knowledge and awareness until your life gets turned upside down because narcissists are similar to cockroaches where you find one there will always be more because they have very similar backgrounds and very similar stories and it may seem like the narcissist wants to be alone but narcissists actually hate being alone. They can't be by themselves even for a day. If they did, they would probably go insane because they need their narcissistic supply. They need attention from other people. They need people who they can impress. They need people who they can deceive. And it's not enough for them to do that with just one person because it's not enough to fulfill their needs, especially after they've already spent a certain amount of time around you, to where they then got bored, they lost interest in you, and now they're taking you for granted, because you're always there, you're always available to them, so they become accustomed to you. You're no different to an appliance in the home, you're like an old iPhone, and now they want the new version. So when you're not there, they're out looking for something new. Because being with you doesn't give them that same buzz anymore. It doesn't excite them as much as it used to. So when you're not there, that's really what they're looking for. They're trying to replace you. And that feeling that you used to provide to them. Because every supply has an expiry date. So now, your supply is no longer as potent as it used to be. Which is why as time goes by, they typically get worse and worse. They become more abusive. And they spend less and less time with you. Because they're getting supply from somewhere else. Until it gets to a point where they may just completely end the relationship. And withdraw all communication. Or they may become offensive and bad-mannered towards you to push you away because they're bored of you now. The relationship has gotten stale. It's become dull and predictable to the narcissist. It's no longer as fresh and exciting as it used to be. Which is why they will start arguments with you for no reason and they will blame you for everything because they want you to give them space. They want to have time to engage in other activities that may seem new and more interesting to them. They won't openly reveal this to you because they don't want you to know what they're doing behind your back. But they will be out there trying to impress other people. People who don't know what they're really about. Because they can't get that type of supply from people who already know who they are. But that's what they really want. Which is why they won't spend as much time with you as they used to. Because now that you've figured them out. They can't get that from you anymore. You don't look at them the same way as you used to. It doesn't stimulate to excite them as much. Which is why they will be seeking someone new. Someone that they haven't dabbled in before. Because it's going to have a more powerful effect on them. And that's what they're really looking for. That spark, that excitement, that initial love bombing phase. Even if they're just teaming up with someone to bond over your destruction, 
It makes them feel something because they're very insecure, so they need lots of attention, which is why they're always looking for excuses to ignore you or discard you. But they may also use it to punish you because maybe you confronted them or you said or did something that offended them. So now they want to get revenge. But they may also be busy indulging in their many addictions, such as alcohol, drugs, shopping and gambling, because they're seeking distraction and relief from the unpleasant reality. And while they're engaging in all of these unhealthy behaviours, they may also be preparing to get rid of you. But they may still be keeping you around because maybe they're still getting something out of it. So they'll just ignore you instead. They'll leave you doubting yourself and feeling uncertain in a situation outside of your control in which there is no progress or improvement because they're just keeping you at bay. They're keeping you under control to prevent you from causing problems that may interfere with what they're trying to gain or achieve with you while they're busy plotting the next move. They will make up excuses for you, but they're actually just busy grooming their new supply, which takes up a lot of their time and energy because now they need to advance the new supply to the primary position so that they can replace you. And this is inevitable. The more time you spend with a narcissist, the more they will begin to see you as the problem. They will see you as being inconvenient and annoying. And they will want to spend as much time as they can away from you because you're a means to an end. You're just there for when they need you. Other than that, you serve no purpose. You're expendable. As long as they're benefiting from being with you, they will keep you around, but it's not because they care about you. It's not because they desire to have a future with you. They don't want love. They don't want a relationship. They just want someone who is going to serve them and fulfill their wants and needs. Because they're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They only care about themselves, which is why they will behave dishonestly and they will be indulging in their addictions because they can't be alone. They hate themselves. They hate their own company, which is why they will do anything they can to avoid having to experience that. It's why they're always looking for a distraction and at one point that may have been you, but they're bored of you now. They're seeking a new thrill, something else to excite them because they just can't get that from you anymore. It doesn't do anything for them. So when they say they want to be alone, it just means they want to be away from you because they've learned you and they know you figured them out, which is boring for a narcissist. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.